bloodlines again. Okay. Um, ha! Ah, I needed to do this. As you hear, I have the old audio setting again with the. Yeah, because. Okay, I'll get to that later. Manipulation. How is my. I think persuasion is high enough for to crack that guy in there, and I think dementation is high enough as is to get inside, which means I can spend my points otherwise. Molly, has she a disadvantage in in the, uh, because I I want no I wanted to at one point. Oh damn you! I wanted to have um, a firearms fight, uh, but I right now don't know if I didn't change my mind about this because I think she's got an advantage in fighting melee, and I usually fight with melee. I don't like the firearms in this game. I don't really don't like them. Never mind. All right, so she's. A I'll need, I'll eventually need, need to get into some real combat, so... Okay, let's say we had... But I'll get to that later, I think for the moment I will stick with this. That I means that I'm quite getting up with the sneaking and lockpicking skills, which I won't need for two... There will be a fight soon too where I can't spend points before. I'm not really I normally I just what I normally do at this point is that because I normally seduce my way through the house up there. I don't have to do this with her because persuasion is so high. Um I normally never have persuasion five and at this point of the game. That's the highest I get and I always only get there some point during Hollywood or in I don't know, downtown perhaps. So right now I'm going to build her a little bit of strength and stamina because I'm going to have a fight that is a little harder than the others. Brawl is always a good thing because um, uh, because uh, I have no idea what I was going to say. Yeah, because you can, you can, in, in a fight, you can feed in a fight if your brawl skill is high enough and your uh, unarmed skill, no like, and that is brawl going for that. And I'm going to have a tough fight at some point in the game. That stamina is, I think, bashing so, but he isn't going to bash me, is he? And this, what does that do? Are those bashing, huh? No, what does that change? Defense, defense, defense is a good thing. That's what I really wanted. Not soaking. Because I'm, I'm going to have an enemy that is so DMA. Defense is wits and dodge. Yeah. Alright, let's do it that way because then he doesn't take me apart the moment he sees me. I am looking ahead. That's a start. And something completely new, and I'm not going to waste three points on either of this because I think, I think this should work fine. I'm being optimistic right now. Okay. 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 Old sound setting. Yes. Um. Because um, a while after the um, the uh, video was, I don't know, silenced. A month, months and months later, it was that was undone again. So it was a f released, and I'm recording my voice in the background anyway. That's a little dodgy because sometimes there are audio skips and sometimes it's but going th haywire. But Help ya. step aside, gatekeeper. Okay, you can go on. If you really want to make money, go ahead and start some shit in there. I need more of it. No, sh shit will not be started. All right. Um, and I am um, the point is that with a Markevian I can get inside here without any. Yeah, that's the same. Oh, and I. I, I Dementation is a bit. I was going to say dodgy, but I don't want to overuse that word. The dodgy thing about Dementation is that you can't. Um, that it, it requires blood. But who cares? Alright. Cash money up front, and that is non-negotiable in your case. So we're clear. I have got not one moral fiber 
restraining me against hitting a bitch should she get out of line. You understand? That said, what can I do to make you feel like the world is your bucket of fudge rippled with walnuts? I need extra light to set this guy on fire. Ain't that a goddamn coincidence? You know you're the second person to ask for that tonight? Considering that's not a very popular item, I have really got to wonder why you thought I might have some. Give me the astrolite. Explosive. Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? There's gold in them there hills. And my eggs. Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Aztec. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around. Too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than you're going to Give me the astral light and soon your pockets will be full of my word. Full on my word. You sure you're good for it? Because all it means to me if you're not is a little maybe nice shark fishing trip with the boys if you understand what I'm saying. Hey, you hold on to it. But if you don't pay me, you'll like this shit. Understand? Understood. The belly of the great fish is not my place. And I think I can get out here safely because if I can't, I'm in trouble. I can't fight with her, not properly. Um, well, though, with the points I gave her, I should be able to get out alright. Oh, never mind. And this is normally the point where I just run without looking back because I always fear that they'll notice something. Why, well, mind you, normally at this point the big boss is dead. Hmm. <laughs> And it's a good practice because there are some points in the game where you should get through without killing anything. And this is not one of them, but I think there is a policeman up there that I can feed on, isn't there? Uh, once that is done, I'll interrupt for a spell and look if my recordings is if the settings are right because I had to turn down the volume of the v of the sound a bit. At least I did turn it down a bit, and I now have to check if it isn't too too low, because I think I turned it up when I changed to the other music stuff. Are they going to see that? No, of course not. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, that's very practical. He isn't going to stick around for much longer than I think he'll he'll be gone when I go to downtown, or at least when I'm the next step of the way in this quest, this mud hunt quest. Uh, yes, I'll interrupt you for a moment. All right, I think uh, the audio works out fine enough. L music is a little loud, but if I turn it lower, then the voices will be very low as well. So I'll leave it at that, and I can't control it separately. So, there is that. Where am I? What have I done so far? I ne but never mind. Uh, one thing is sure, I need to get a mercurial. But yes, it's a, released, a release, a relief to have this music again, because I've played the game with this setting with this for ages, almost since I've had it, because if on my first playthrough I already changed it, I know that. Because at the end, when I was doing the last quests, I already had this music setting. And with two little changes, I think, in Chinatown... Chinatown? Yeah, there. Hi, speak to me. Have you crossed the Dark River, Mercury? I got the boom boom. I blew out no flames. Did you get my money back? Your gold. Yes, here is your gold, Mercury. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. Astrolite is fun, no? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Tell me of the House of Wares. Walk in 
small army of trigger happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe uh Yes, fleet footed one. Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you guys. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. The worm hides into her with liquids. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Borman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where is the dark daughter of Janus? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. Try not to do business there. Um, no, not going to ask questions about them. The spawn of the two-headed god awaits. Farewell. I don't want to say anything about them because I think that is just one of those things that you should see without any warning.